I'm Dr. Emma Craythorne, consultant dermatologist and founder of Clara. I'd like to talk a little bit about post-inflammatory changes within the skin. Now, this can be different depending on your original skin tone or actually could be mixed and you might be somebody that might have both of these types of changes. But typically after some injury to the skin, and that can often occur as a consequence of acne, for example, or rosacea, changes can happen. And those changes tend to leave what I call footprints in the skin. They're not true scars, but they are marks left behind after some other lesion has been there. Let's think about a spot, for example. If you're somebody who has a darker skin tone, so these skin tones with brown or black skin, after you've had some acne in that area, what might happen is the inflammation might stir up a lot of changes. And even though the acne lesion has gone, it might have left a little brown mark or a deeper dark brown mark behind showing that it's been there. Now that's not a true scar, that's something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. If we think of the other side of the skin scale, so somebody who has very, very white skin or typically a lot of red within the skin, then what can happen is after they have uh, an acne spot, then yes, the acne spot leaves, but it can leave a red mark behind. And that's called post-inflammatory erythema. Post-inflammatory erythema and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation can cause huge problems for some people because yes, they've cleared the original problem of the acne, but then they have these changes left behind. And it's not just acne that can cause these, any kind of inflammation or trauma of the skin can leave these changes behind afterwards. It can take a long time for them to clear by themselves. And in most cases, they normally do if you keep the skin protected with a good skin barrier and sun protection. But if you wanna try and speed up the changes so that you can get resolution of those a little bit more quickly, then there are known powerful ingredients that can do that, that have stood up to robust clinical trials so that we can identify and pick these out. Part of the reason why I invented Clara is that there was this would be a cream that people could use and enjoy and it's beautiful. But the key thing is it actually has these ingredients that we know are clinically effective at treating post-inflammatory erythema and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. These are the ingredients that I would use if a patient came to see me with these conditions in my clinical practice in my dermatology office. They're not the ingredients that you're typically able to get over the counter to treat this effectively and quickly. I hope that's been helpful to learn a little bit more about post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory erythema, and how Clara can help with that. If you want to know more about this, then check out my social media where I go into this in lots more detail. Mm -hmm.